Thanks for staying with us today. I'm Doug Reardon. And I'm Amy Satowski. The city of Grand Rapids will be saving hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next few years through a new light conversion project. Yeah, they're swapping out all the old street lights for new LEDs, but some residents say that more work needs to be done to make sure it's beneficial for everybody. Our Lauren Edwards explains. I came out and the whole front of my house was lit up like I had a floodlight on it. Resident Chris Snyder says he'll never forget the night in fall 2019 when he realized the street light near his home changed. I was just sitting in my living room and noticed that the light coming in seemed really bright. And so I looked out and realized they'd replaced the street light here. The one right back there. This one that's across the street from his home near Burton Street Southeast. During the day, it looks like every other light, but at night it shines brighter than the rest. He says he knew immediately it was an LED light. I know a lot of other people have complained. It's a it's a harsher light. I think it's the color temperature is a uh, bluer. Other residents around the city saw the new lights as well and have complained about its color. So Snyder called the city to see what they could do about the one near his home. And they did dim it. They can do that remotely. So they dimmed it, I think they said to 80%. Mike Granier, who works for the city, says changing the brightness is one of the advantages of the new LED light system they're installing. And they can do it from their office. It's all a part of the city's new LED conversion plan. We're really excited about the lighting project. We've got 18,000 lights throughout the city. We've been in the process of changing those as they break or on road projects to, to experiment with the technology that we're using. He says they've got 16,000 lights they're going to be changing this year, which in the long run will save them lots of money and reduce their carbon footprint. We're looking at probably a 35% reduction in energy use, which is substantial. That's 300, over $350,000 a year. He says a few years ago, the city sought residents input on the new lights, but they didn't get much feedback. We sent out postcard surveys. We've done some comparisons on, on different streets. We went into a couple different neighborhoods put in half the lights on as the 3,000, half as the 4,000, and, and we just didn't get a lot of response back. However, he says the city hears their concerns. Snyder's hoping the city will now put a shield on the light so that it shines on the street and not in his home. And I prefer if the city would do something that was better for residents, not so much in our houses, and also better for um, not having so much light pollution up into the night sky. In Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right, still ahead, a Motown group.